Good morning. It is Monday, which is not my favorite. <laughs> it's like uh, 525. Just doing some stuff down here in the office, getting ready to go to work. Uh, today we're heading out to Oak Creek, Wisconsin to start a new project. I haven't been there in a long time. Uh, I sold the job a long time ago, but uh, I remember there's a kind of a smallish driveway, a sidecar parking, a uh, front walk, uh, patio extension, and then I think a couple steps in the back patio as well. And then we have one shout out this morning to 4x4truckleds.com. They sent me out some stickers. Uh, they also sent me some hats and then they sent me some LED projector fog lights uh, for my particular truck. So I hopped on their website and uh looks like a great website so 4x4truckleds.com go check them out uh i'm gonna go check out the coffee shop so i'll see you guys over there how much garbage do we make thanks for your work okay well i live here and i'm just leaving for work okay where do you live over here Okay, what are you doing out here so early? Uh, getting a fresh of breath of air. Okay. A breath of fresh air. That's all I laugh. Okay. I just keep growl. No, no. All right, Where I got. Are you? I got to leave for work, so I'll see you later. I'll catch a ride with you. No, no, no. What no. time do you get home? <laughs> uh, can you get off my truck, please? Sorry. Uh, just step away. I got to leave. Hey, nice to see you. Okay, thank you. Thanks for the oil work. Oil work? Okay. Here. All right, it is quarter to six in the morning, and this lady is hanging outside my house, and she's coming back now. Sorry, well, now we're talking. We need a driveway and a patio and a sidewalk. Not the sidewalk, but a driveway and a patio. Okay, have a good day. Wow. That was weird. She's either on something or she has some kind of mental illness. It's pitch black out in my road, and all of a sudden I see this person walking up to my truck in the blackness i don't know that was just weird anyways you can tell it's monday just by the way it's starting out <laughs> morning scott hey how are you today i'm a day good how are you i am doing terrific all right coffee business is booming a little slow this morning to start out with it'll pick up morning how are you tired but good yeah it's monday very much so <laughs> yeah Better yeah have a great day Thank you. all right 6 12 just pulling into the yard on a monday morning bright and early <clears throat> all right well the mac has moved so i know mr bobby's here he must be feeling all right bugs is here Eric's here. What? Every single person beat me here today. Daryl's here too. How did everybody beat me to work today? Morning, bugs. I got some. Uh, I got some duct tape and spray glue. If you want it, it's right here. Eric, you got to get out of my parking stall. Actually, you can stay there today, but don't park there ever again, or I'll kick you in the shins. All right, it's 6.20 and we're leaving the yard. Oak Creek is about 30 minutes from us. That's as far south as I go from where we're at right now. All right, just pull up on the job. It is just before seven o'clock. It's a good start for a Monday. No delays. Customers out here ready and waiting for us. Eric's pretending to be busy. That's a good start. <laughs> a little postage stamp driveway we're doing but then we're adding a whole sidecar parking around the corner of his garage little front walk area those bushes are not going to be fun to work in how's it going Morning. you ready guess so. you guess so we're ready we're always awesome. ready Good. as long as you're ready yeah i wasn't sure if you're going to come today or not why do you what are you talking about i emailed you <laughs> i said we were going to be there monday morning at 7 maybe, 7 30. maybe 
No, nope. because of the rain. Because of the rain. Oh, because of the rain. Look, yeah. No, you. I would have let you know if we weren't coming. Okay. I'm gonna grab a uh, tape measure and some paint, and then we'll go over the job again. Okay. Just because it's been a while, and I don't really don't remember exactly everything we talked about. Yeah. I mean, I kind of remember, but we'll figure it out one more time. Did you see? I finally welded that little plate on. I seen that. That's good. Yeah. Well, there was a uh, a guy. Actually, he called me. He was from the East Coast. He's like, hey, you got to look at this news story. So I clicked on the link. It was uh, last week. Guy had a two-yard tipper, a little dump truck. He had a 12-foot strike off in the back. Came out of the truck, went through a guy's windshield, smashed his head. His wife was sitting right next to him, watched the whole thing. Um, so, yeah, Saturday, I was like, man, I better get that done. I don't I don't need that to happen to us. Did you ever watch any of my videos? Yeah, you guys Did are like you? movie stars now. Yeah, right. Well, job comes number one, so... Don't worry about that. Cool. Are you gonna put me on YouTube? I am. Well, unless you don't want to be, uh, it's up to you. It is kind of fun to have your family see it, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm gonna bring up the uh, contract here, and then we'll go over it. You're getting a lot of views too now. It's all because of my handsome customers like you. Yeah. yeah. That's 16. That makes sense. And that's 14 right to that edge, so that makes sense. Yeah, so you were gonna, you were talking about, what did you say, 10 feet from the house? Is that what it was? Yeah, that's what it was. So something like that? Yeah, that's cool. Okay. So uh, this bush here obviously is gonna be history, right? Yeah, that goes with the roses. Gotcha. Yeah, he wants to, because I know you're gonna set these six yeah. inches on each side. Gotcha. I got concrete at noon, we'll dump those two little steps and then in the morning we'll pour all this and like maybe to here and then we'll pour the driveway in the afternoon or whatever. What kind of truck do you want? I would say like 14. Okay, I mean this, this little corner isn't going to be a weak spot is it? Uh, it will but we'll put a control joint. Points like that, you put a control joint because you already know it's going to crack there. Right, okay. Yeah, don't know, that's not really a problem. It is a weak spot though, you're right about that. I think you have been watching my videos. Well, yeah, right? <laughs> Bobby, how are you feeling today? Feeling pretty good. Anybody pretty. you want to say hi to? Not today. I hope they're rotted out pretty good. Because this looks like it was a big one. Yeah. How big was that tree? It was big. Yeah, I can tell. Daryl's going to flip my machine right off the trailer. Oh, no! Come on. Daryl, you're about to flip over, man. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. It's right about ready to go onto the tailgate. If you would have flipped my machine over, I would have been so angry. I would have been so angry. Hey, is that your car across the street? Yeah, you can move that one. Yeah, have you ever seen him drive the truck? You might want to move it.
got to drill post hole footings, bugs. Yeah. Hey, you should come to my truck. I'll give you your presents. Okay. Three people gave him presents. Viewers. The viewers they're all, they're really? all the same presents, really? too. Yeah. So this one's from somebody named Scott Anderson. This is an LED, a digital alarm clock with a bed shaker. So that thing actually lights up and shakes your bed at the same time. Really? Yes. That thing is dope. And then, uh, it is actually pretty that nice. Really and then uh, another viewer sent you tape measures for your birthday <laughs> and another alarm clock. <laughs> <laughs> so you literally have three alarm clocks now this and one that shakes your bed and lights up. This is pretty cool though. They, honestly, they took away all your excuses now. side of the street I gotta fill the front of the truck I can't get to the front of the truck from this side Three inches behind, beyond this post, square up to there, three inches here, square up to here, and then squares off with the corner of the house. You have to dig this out a little bit right here. All right, so I got that back part dug out. Bugs is working on the steps. It's like 826 right now. I can't dig any more dirt out because I don't have any trucks. I'm going to take some concrete out in a minute. We're gonna get this all set up today. We're gonna to pour the steps, and then tomorrow we'll pour this job out. It's too hot for you? Yeah, it's hot. Come on. Oh, look at you. You know what you need? You need some calluses. Yes, Eric, how, how can I help you? We're bringing pizza. What'd you say? We're bringing pizza. Who's bringing pizza? Francisco for breakfast? It's only like, oh, let's not even lunch. nine o'clock. Oh, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. You guys are really killing my diet plans, man. I mentioned on the channel I was starting a diet. Now I feel terrible because I have, haven't actually started the diet. I thought you did. I wish. I've been eating terrible, man. It's a mindset. I just got to get motivated to do it. And I just, I don't know. I just have so much other stuff going on. I can't find that motivation that I need right now to start something else big in my life. You know what I mean? You better bring Daryl Jr. tomorrow because the customer wants to meet the superstar and get his autograph. Yeah, I will. I so you need him today. No, I don't want him today, yeah. but tomorrow. Oh, come on, Eric. You put that you put that form in and and this wire's got to go on that side of the form. Oh. All right, so we just created the little area back there. Steps are all set. Uh Bob's back now, so I'm going to take all this dirt out so the guys can start setting. Bob, move your truck to the other side of the or just move it out of the way cuz when he gets back I'm gonna load up the rest of the concrete and then put the little bit of dirt that's left back on you. You can just hold it on the orange line we got established right here. I'm just gonna have to go up though. I can see that already like a lot. 
Can you back up a little way so we don't have a congested area here? Thanks. That's good. Why have you been gone for two hours? I wasn't gone for two hours. Never mind. Good job, that was pretty fast. I asked Daryl why he's been gone for two hours and he handed me a sandwich. Uh-uh. Stay, you stay out of there. No, you stay out of there. Stay out of it. Oh! This job's not too bad, eh? Easy money, man. Yes. All right, things are going good. Dump trucks are back. I'm gonna load this concrete onto this truck here. Mr. Bobby is energized today. Daryl's working hard. Right, Daryl? Mm -hmm. I know, you usually just sit in the truck and sleep. I'm surprised. bad news what? you're gonna have to put the camera down and help me you're gonna have to start working again i gotta start working again <laughs> all right bye all right bobby see you tomorrow hey it's ryan from victory yes sir uh, i need some concrete for my 12 o'clock okay go ahead all right we'll bring some gravel and let's get this graded boys Stop playing on TikTok, Eric. I'm for no, real. Just... Were you making a TikTok? No, uh, what's up? This is Eric. Oh, I'm not trying to be mean, you guys, but when we're grading, dude, it's not move a little bit of gravel and then stand there. Like when we're grading, your your come along basically should always be moving. Like this has been sitting like this the whole time you've been standing over there. Like push this up, bro. Like there's always something to do. Like you look around and see what you can do. Get the edges. Get you, don't just if there's a little low spot while I'm back there. And in the low spots up there, go down the edge. You know what I mean? See what you can do. Because that just gets me frustrated watching you guys stand around so much. I mean, I'm a pretty nice guy and stuff, but I still have expectations for my workers. You know what I'm saying? All for you. Thank you. Thank you. You're the best. What's your name? Liliana. Oh, I got to get one of that too. Oh boy, Eric's gonna be in the bathroom again. <coughs> you see the, when you say, when you asked me where he, where he was, and I said, in the bathroom, you said, well, it's a market, so it took. People see, <laughs> in the comments, like, oh, it's a market. I see you wore your skinny jeans again today. No, I did not. Yeah, uh, yes, you did. You can't say no, you didn't. I can see him right in front of me. 2%, boys, place the finish. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. You busy today or not really? No. No. It's Too much rain, yeah. We're just pouring the steps, it's no big deal. Say I watch you guys on YouTube oh, all the you? time. You? I saw you working here. Oh, yeah. Live around the corner, so. Oh, okay. Right on. Come over and let you know there's at least one person that watches you. <laughs> yeah, <thank laughs> you. Only one? Yeah, yeah. Oh man. I'm gonna put you on this video and make you famous. All right. All right. All right. Well, you, you can show your friends. <laughs> Are you done, Eric? Mm -hmm. There's a little wobble right here, bro. Right here, there's a little straight spot. So this one's got to go back a little bit, yeah, not that, that far. Okay. Should be right there. Okay. All right, we just poured them steps over there. Us three are working on setting the forms on the other side, the little sidewalk form there. Bugs is floating off the steps. So Bugs is going to continue working on the steps. Really all we got left here to do is grade and compact the middle of the driveway, which is really not that big of a deal. 
It's like uh, 12, 12.44 right now. I'm taking this, nobody wants to see you. That's good. <laughs> hey, can I use your bathroom for yeah, a quick second? Thanks. Oh, oh. Call your dog off. Yeah. Wow. He's, the other guy's the one you gotta worry about. That is literally the smallest dog I've ever seen in my life. Really? Yes, I've never seen a dog this small. <laughs> it's the size of my hand. Yeah. Wow. What does a dog weigh? Three, I don't even know. Three, He's probably like five pounds, something like that. No way. Yeah, no. Two. I catch five pound bass and they're way yeah. heavier than this. Yeah. yeah. This has got to be three pounds. He could be. He could be. Yeah. It's a three pounder. He's a... Uh, a three pounder. A Yorkshire Terrier. Yeah. All right, let's finish this gravel. Ready? I'm ready. I'm always ready. We ran a few buckets short of gravel, but Daryl was already going to get some. He should be back very soon. We're going to sweep up the street, so when he gets back, I can just scoop a few buckets off the back of his truck. He'll just tip it up and I'll scoop it. And I'll finish compacting, and uh, that's it for today. Where have you been? In the Antonio, street. it was good seeing you. I told you I'd give you a shout out. Who's Antonio? One of our viewers who stopped me. Where? At the dump or at, or at lunch? At lunch. I had Where did you stop? Me. I didn't stop nowhere. Subway? No. Cousins? McDonald's? Oh. Arby's? I didn't eat. Wendy's? No. All right, we're done for the day. It's two o'clock. Everything is set up. The patio area, steps are poured, sidecar parking, driveway, everything's ready to go. So in the morning, we're gonna pour the patio and sidecar parking straight off the garage corner. We're gonna set a shutoff, and then our 12 o'clock pour will be the tiny little driveway. It should be a really easy day tomorrow. Everything will go fine, I'm sure. All right, I'll see you guys right back here tomorrow morning. Adios. Are you ever gonna Are you ever gonna paint the house though? That's I was gonna, I was that's gonna, the real question. Eventually. Because that shade of green. A little dated. It, it honestly looks like. The color of a witch's skin. All right, we'll see you in the morning. Bright and early. The weather looks good, so we should be in good shape to finish tomorrow. Yeah, all right.